Hi, it's a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in to my speaker blog. I'm Topher Morrison, and if you are watching this video on anything other than my speaker blog, we're still glad to have you here, but you are missing out on a lot of great content. So if you're watching this on YouTube or Vimeo, you may want to run over to check out the speaker blog at toffermorrison.com. Uh, and if you have any questions yourself about the speaking business, you can ask me anything you like. If you go to my Facebook page called uh, facebook.com forward slash professional speaking, I think, I'll put, the, I'll put the link up on the screen. Anyway, if you go there, you can type any question you like and I will bump you to the front of the queue and answer your questions regarding professional speaking. Today's question comes from Izzy. Izzy asks, how do you get used to spotlights? I sometimes find myself speaking to the lights at the back of the room and hence over people's heads, which is never intended. So Izzy, great question. Uh, the reality is, probably not the best answer, but the, the answer is uh, you get to get used to it. You kind of build up a tolerance to the bright lights. There are some things that you can do though to make sure that you're not affected by that or squinting or blinded by it. <clears throat> so one of the things that I do whenever I get into a big venue where I know I'm gonna get blinded by those lights, I get up on stage before those lights are on and I find my key pivot points and it's talking points to where I make sure that I'm not actually speaking to where I think there are people and there aren't any people. So uh, that way I'll kind of get an idea and a feel for the room, I'll walk around, I'll hit my stage points, but I'll also look out and see, okay, well, you know, it's about this level and you can get pretty close if you just kind of do a test run with it. So the best thing I can tell you is check out the uh, audience before there's an audience there. Look where the rooms are at, uh, the room layouts at, and then just kind of try to remember it as best you can. There's really no more science to it than that. You know, the reality is once you get over about 500 people, you've got lights in your eyes and you're never going to be able to see any more than that. That's why people always say, God, how do you speak in front of 10,000 people? But it looks like 500 because you can only see the first 500 anyway. So I hope that helps. Just remember, get there before the event starts. Uh, pick your focal points. Remember where those are at, and you should be good to go. You'll be all right. Just make sure you smile at the lights, all right? Don't squint. Smile. All right, it's no big deal. All right, guys, hope you like that. If you'd like some more speaking tips, you can check out bulletproofspeaking.com. That is a free ebook called The Professional Speaking Secrets of Tover Morrison. Of course, please subscribe to my blog. That way, every time I have an update, you'll get a notification in your inbox saying that there is a new question answered. So. Thanks so much. Hope you had a great day. We will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.